Hi, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you how to make colored salt bottles. This is a really easy activity to do and um, the children really enjoy making their own designs for their own bottles. I chose salt be instead of sand because it was easier to color. Um, when you use the food coloring with sand that's either supposed to be white sand or brown sand, the colors just don't turn out very vibrant and don't make a very nice looking um, decorative bottle. So I chose to use salt because it's white and it really mixes easy with this. Before you start this activity with young children, you want to tell them that they cannot eat or should not eat the salt. Some will think it's colored sugar or some kind of sweetened sugar powder. Um, so you want to make clear that this is salt. It doesn't taste good when you just eat it plain by itself. Um, so I'll make sure that we, you go through those warnings first before you start this. The things you'll need to have are salt and we just use ordinary uh, table salt. You also need to have food coloring, bowls, uh, Ziploc bags, and an empty small water bottle that's been dried out. And the first thing you need to do is you need to make your colored sand. And I already have some made, but I'll go through the steps of making um, some for you here. There's really no measurements, no certain amount of drops you should put in, no certain amount of salt. It's entirely up to you how much you want to make and um, what colors you want it to be, how vibrant of a color, how dark of a color. So the first step would be to take a Ziploc bag and pour some salt into it, like so. And you can, again, you can use as much, make as much as you want here, but I'm just gonna make this because I already have um, some made up, so I don't wanna make too much more. And then you put in maybe about uh, 10 drops. It's up to you again how much you wanna put in of uh, food coloring. And then you want to make sure that your bag is sealed. So if you're going to let children shake the bags, you want to make sure that the top is completely sealed on here. All right, and then you just start out by mushing it around a little bit, kind of like the colored rice, and then you would shake it back and forth, and it mixes really well, very easy to mix on here. It's kind of like your, if you've ever used shake and bake, that's the kind of shaking that you would do with this bag. Every once in a while you know, stop and check, make sure you don't have any clumps of uh, food color on here. And you just keep mixing or shaking it until it's all completely mixed. Very easy to do. And then once that's done, um, you can put it in a bowl or a container. So I'm going to um, empty it into my bowl of yellow that I already have here. And so um, for this, the sand, or the, sorry, the salt bottles, what we do is we have bowls of colored salt set out and they all have plastic spoons in them. And then um, each child gets an empty bottle. On oh, the other thing you're going to need too, I forgot to mention that, I apologize, is a funnel. This makes it much easier for children to put the colored salt into the bottles. So we'll start with our empty bottle and each child would get one and they can create their own own designs on here and so they would take their the funnel put it into the bottle hope I can get this all in here yeah, move this over here and they would just scoop their sand see even I'm getting confused they would scoop their salt into the bottle and they put in as much of whatever color they want and they would move on to a next color and you want to have some kind of um, you know separation of colors you know, just want a bottle of all one color you want you know, maybe a few different colors, but that's the child's choice, whatever they want to make uh, for their bottles. But this is good for eye-hand coordination, um, guiding this, the salt into the, the funnel. I'm gonna switch colors here. But you, I'm not gonna make the whole bottle. You can obviously kind of get the idea of what um, children would do. They would just take their spoon and keep filling up with the colored salt until they have reached the top of the bottle. And once that's done, you put the cover on. You might want to put some rubber cement on on the, on the cover and have it sealed on the top here so the bottle itself would not open and then the colored salt would spill everywhere. But again, this is just a great kind of summer activity to do and a um, great project. For a colored sand bottle, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com. And thanks for watching.